quarter. Hello everyone, my name is Cody. The guy you see on the screen is Eli and today we are discussing arcade vending business. Claw machines or coin pushers? I've left three tips in the video that show what our candy machines, coin pushers, and claw machines make on average low and high end. Uh, just stretch throughout the entire video. They are looking great, nice and full. That's what you want to see. You don't want to see any bald spots. It uh, just doesn't look as appealing. We'll go ahead and lock up those toys and we'll take a peek down below and see how it's doing. We're not going to collect. Uh, we did have a jammed mech. You can kind of see it pushed in right now. Uh, we did get that fixed, but, but yeah, it was jammed up and we're gonna kind of let it sit with new toys in it with the uh, with it unjammed but look at look at all those quarters it's just it this is another really good spot but wait 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 can you guys hear me hello oh, yeah. so sorry my mic cut out a little bit there for a second i don't know if you guys could hear me but take a guess in the comment section below and tell us how much you think that is in all the cash and quarters that you just saw but we're we'll go ahead and go to another mexican restaurant location that we have and we need to switch out this candy machine for the one that's inside the one that's inside has a jammed uh, gumball mech in it so we need to take those out and take it home and see what's wrong with it um since we're already here we're gonna go ahead and fill up the claw machine as well that's a good looking bulk machine I like the red I think red is uh, it's probably my favorite out of the black yellow and you know the red so you can see but go ahead and dump all the new plush in here we also added some ducks to it as well running pretty low um, those ducks it seems like they get one quite often but uh that's quite okay they do run us 15 cents each so the margins there are just really good but look at some of that stuff that we're putting in there just some extra side stuff that we get at like dollar general and dollar uh dollar tree is one and you can go to clarence and walmart and find out but so you can see the quick tip right there all of our uh high and low end machines quick glance at, at a nice full machine some Pokemon cards in there licensed plush and all that good stuff but oh yeah let's go ahead and see how it's doing we're not gonna we're not gonna pull the money from it yet it needs another week this is uh this is three weeks right here so man just look at it pretty dang good I can't wait to see what it looks like in another week Let's go ahead and look at this magazine. Alright, hang on, I'm having problems with my mic. Hello? Hello? The best thing. 
things in life for free. But you can give them to the birds and bees. I want Money, guys. Holy crap. I don't know if you if you can hear me right now. I'm having a little problem with my mic. But anyway, this uh, that was three weeks uh, since we serviced that crane. But let's go ahead and hit this three head serviced and get that coin mech replaced. But first, we're going to turn around uh the machine and pull out all the money from the back let's see how let's see how she did and did exactly how i expected that mexican restaurant it just does well uh that looks it looks like about 40 bucks to me so let's go ahead and pull it out but first we have our quick tips and this is our candy machines low end high end and just the unacceptable so those are our personal uh, views on it. I mean, I guess you could uh, tweak it to whatever you know you need to live or whatever. But 32.75, not too shabby. That's what I like to see, and that's uh, three weeks, so that's uh, pretty okay in my book. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this candy machine out. And guys, this is how we primarily move around all of our uh, candy machines: is just putting it in the front seat and. Uh, we usually have this tiny uh, dolly, but this one's so close to the front door that Eli just picked it up and hauled it right into the business, right next to this crane machine. This crane machine is uh, actually a friend of ours. He owns it. So go ahead and set that right next to it. The people that own this place told us to just come right in and and set it right down and we'll be good to go. We got all the usual suspects in the candy machine, Skittles, Nerd Gumballs, and Peanut M&Ms. I expect them to all do pretty well. We are on to our Silver Strike Coin Pusher. And we're to the point now where we collect this every week. Got a rack there, change machine. Let's go ahead and open it up and see how it did. And as you can already tell, it did very, very well. But you're you're seeing the uh, the money there that got pushed off of the playing field that we put on top there to incentivize people to play. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, then you know that this is the coin pusher that had the attempt break in uh, he failed pretty bad he kicked it a whole bunch of times and just could not get past the tempered glass but video in the description box down below as you can see we're just kind of pushing some of these quarters into the side slots there not a whole whole bunch i mean be uh be ethical about it you know uh but as much build up as it has it just doesn't need it uh, you also saw a center hole there in the middle of the playing field, and that's actually the bonus hole. You can see the text there on the on the left, and whenever that gets filled up, it gets dumped into the to the winning slot, and whoever's playing at that time wins that bonus hole. And it's about it's about ten bucks that it holds, and then it dumps. It's like on a weight kind of uh, system, so it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and pull out these quarters. And we got 209.50 and that's for the week. So that's really good. That's 800 uh, monthly. And honestly, we've done about a thousand dollars monthly before. And this bot is, uh, has done that. So, all right guys, to sum things up, uh, what do we prefer? I'd say claw machines and why is that? Uh, childhood roots. It's a big reason why we got into this business. Coin pushers are great and they do happen to make a lot of money a lot of times but they just aren't as appealing to us as cranes and that's one of the big reasons you know uh, they just look welcoming and many states don't have uh, such harsh rules on them you know they're not uh, they're not a huge problem but all right guys that's going to do it for this video our next video we will have a big hefty collection from various machines so stay tuned in for all that like this video subscribe to our channel hit that bell uh, it'll let you know whenever we make new videos but guys that's going to do it thank you so much for watching goodbye <laughs>